Hello, my name is Father Sal Gonzalez. I am a missionary abbot of Mary Immaculate, and I want to welcome you to this video presentation. Today, May 21st, the Mazenodian family, the Oblate Service Corporation, remembers and marks the 160th anniversary of the death of our founder, St. Eugene de Mazenod. As employees and co-workers of the Oblate Service Corporation, we pause to recognize that the ministry and the work that we are blessed to do today is an extension of the vision and the mission that St. Eugene de Mazenod experienced in his lifetime and share with us up to today. Born on August 1st, 1782 in Aix-en-Provence, France, our founder, Eugene de Mazenod, was born into an aristocratic, high-class family that many times lived way outside of their means. They experienced firsthand the consequences of the French Revolution. At only eight years of age, Eugene de Mazenod and his family had to flee their beautiful city of Aix to live as political refugees in different cities of Italy. It was during these 12 years of exile that Eugene de Mazenod suffered much. His family separated, his parents divorced, and at the age of 20 years old, Eugene de Mazenod returned to his homeland in hopes of gaining back his life of fame and fortune and the high life. Yet this never happened. Eugene de Mazenod looked for happiness outside of himself in so many ways and never found it. His dreams and his hopes were shattered. But everything changed for Eugene de Mazenod on a Good Friday of 1807 when he entered the church and prayed before the crucifix. It is before this crucifix with Jesus there as Savior that he experienced the unconditional love of God. He finally got to experience the love, the joy, the happiness that he so longed for, and he found it in Jesus as his Savior. This changed Eugene de Mazenod. It didn't leave him the same. Eugene de Mazenod later on went on to become a priest. He founded the missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate and then Bishop of Marseille. Eugene de Mazenod was a man on fire. Boy, he was moved by the spirit. He had the spirit fire in him that led him to be passionate about Jesus Christ, about the church, and about the poor. And that zeal, that power, that passion, boy, it's contagious and is still living, is living among us, among all the members of the Mazenodian family. Eugene calls all of us today as members of the Mazenodian family and co-workers of the Oblate Service Corporation to feel the same experience. He wants to share the same experience of being loved by Jesus Christ as Savior. He's our founder because all of our activities, all of our work, no matter where or how, is based on his lived experience of Jesus Christ as Savior. And it's from this gift of salvation that we live and work today. So today I want to say to you, members of the Mazenodian family, and my fellow co-workers in the Oblate Service Corporation, that you are valued and that you are loved that through the many activities that you do, through the work that you do day in and day out, you continue the passion and the love of St. Eugene de Mazenod in our world today. It is through you and through your activity that the world today knows that God loves them, that Jesus Christ is their savior, that they're important to God. We continue the legacy of St. Eugene de Mazenod, our founder, in everything that we do. And I pray and I hope that you too get to experience every day the unconditional love of God as St. Eugene de Mazenod did in his lifetime. God bless you.